Hello everyone's everyone's. I am here for my review of Real Housewives of Atlanta season 13 reunion part 3. If you were new to my channel, welcome. If you're returning, you're one of my peoples, welcome back. Quick rant before I get into this review. I have been having issues with my DVR box for the past, I want to say, six days. They tried to troubleshoot it, didn't work. So they sent me out a new one. My old one started working again, so I was like, I'm just going to put it off, putting the new one, you know, hooking up the new one. How about last night? It's like, okay, sis, you wanted to keep on playing with us. You got a new one at your house that you have not put and have not hooked up yet. We're not going to record your show. So I go to go watch my show, Real Housewives of Atlanta, reading part three, eight o'clock. And it's like, your listings is not available. I was like, I know you're lying. So I was like, let me try to, you know, unplug it, plug it back up, do all those things. It said, no, we're not doing that. So I had to wait till like 1030 to do my review and do it without rewinding, which was very, very difficult for me because I be missing out stuff when I be having the DVR box working. But I just needed to get that off of my chest, y'all. On to the review. Now, it's Bolo Court with Kenya being a judge, juror, and executioner. Like, the question was asked, you guys covered up all the cameras, y'all took y'all mics off. Why was you still out here telling folks business? But her thing is still. Because some of these ladies would have done the same thing to me. Had I been the one who, you know, slept with Bo... Bo, Bo I'm about to say Bozo. Bolo, allegedly, you know, they would have been talking about it from... Um, here to there. They was already dragging me about the doggone crab cakes that I did not get them. I was like, yeah. But Kenya clarifies it. Had it been Kenya or Cynthia, who are her true friends, she wouldn't have said anything, mainly because they would have told her. They'd be like, girl, guess what? I was going off that handy and some things happened. Child, you just don't know. You just don't know. But I was like, I think it was more so that it was Portia. But my thing is, if Portia had a popped out, that next one, like, y'all, guess what Bolo can do? Then what would King have had to talk about for the remaining of the season? Because that was her main thing of Portia slept with Bolo and she's lying about it. And I was like, is it because y'all tipped him beforehand and it seems like a... A prostitutional type of situation was it because y'all was on vacation in this house that other people was in the house what was the issue that she had slept with bolo for kenya because that ain't I, i'm not portia i wasn't doing the thing i'm just asking i ain't got no dog in this fight but i'm wondering what kenya's issue is marlo said candy was out here telling all of the business Portia says, you're so worried about who I'm sleeping with, like, wait, who you sleeping with? Like, I wish you was more obsessed with your marriage and your husband than you was with me because maybe I'll still be married. I was like, ooh. Because she has put a lot of focus on Portia and Bolo and then she did on her own marriage this season. And like, and at least that's how they, things are playing out. I was like... One for Portia, but don't y'all see those doggone jewelry, that that finger jewelry that doggone Portia had on? Now, it reminded me of a grown-up, more elegant... Y'all remember back in, like, the day, they used to have those little small, like... Um, it was like a little plastic, and I'm talking about plastic, plastic, little baby high heel, and, like, a ring, and these fake um, nails that you put on for little girls... It reminded me that, but like for grown-ups and sophisticated, not so much with the plastic out here, but the fingers, it was like you just snap them on your hand and it was just, I was like, those look so gorgeous. And I'm hoping when I, you know, get done editing, I can find a picture of them because Porsche was over just to moving her fingers and doing all this. And I was like, oh my goodness, that looks so beautiful. I mean, I would never wear it anywhere because I don't be going to wear. I kid you not, I go to the doctor i may go to like walgreens or the family dollar and i be in my house yeah so but i was like yeah, that is so so gorgeous 
we move over to Candy and Candy says she's always gonna feel some type of way about the rumor that Portia had helped spread and I was like I can't be mad at her about that because that was some a damaging rumor that was spreading I don't know if Portia was in on the lie or she was just spreading something she told but either way it came from her that Candy was out here you know trying to you know knock folks out and do things to them so I I would feel some type of way too the question was as if tomorrow if you and Kenya hadn't made up would you have backed her up and I don't think she would have because it was like soon as these two became like we just gonna squash the beef you been mad at me i've been mad at you this is exhausting then it turned to but girl did you hear what was going on well girl i did hear what was going on it was almost instantaneous i believe i'm saying that correctly i'm so used to messing um making the words into new words that sometimes i'm like is the real word the world am i saying the real world word correctly I almost couldn't get that out. Now, Portia says she is still friends with Tanya. And Tanya's like, you know what? This ain't the group for me. This is the second season that I have been on here. And somebody has come for my marriage. I guess you can almost say season. That's her third season. Because it was one season where I don't know if I was all in the same season or not. When Nene was ever talking about something, you might not be getting married. But y'all know, it's either two or three seasons. At least two seasons. One, when Kenya doggone call herself getting back at Tanya for showing her wig to everybody. And bringing the cookie lady on. And now we got this whole situation. And you trying to bring me into some mess. I'm not for that. I don't need this in my life. So I'm going to give y'all the deuces and bounce. But I just did not appreciate the fact that. Where, where Kenya was trying to shade Tanya. Talking about some her life partner. Her life partner. She had her life partner to go to and explain to. And I'm like. She may have her life partner, fiance, whoever she want to call him. But the person she is with is in the same city, same state, and same house as she is in. Your husband is in a whole other state. And when you do go visit your husband, you stay at a hotel. You ain't never met this man's people. So... Are y'all, I mean, I'm pretty sure Tanya has met her um, significant other's people. His parents, brother, sister, cousin, if he has any. His auntie, his uncles. His best friend from the fourth grade. So, just because you have the title of being somebody's wife does not make you over Tanya. Because you still really don't know this man's people like that. Just saying. Now we're moving over to this whole profit lot situation. Now, <laughs> it could have just not made it to the doggone screen if you ask me. But my thing is, Drew was going on and on and on about how Latoya, and Latoya alone it seems like, is the sole reason that her baby was not being able to get, you know, have her blessing. Now... I'm going to say this, and I might make a lot of people mad, but she seemed like she comes from that type of church to where if a young lady gets pregnant by somebody in the church and she not married, they sitting her down. I don't know if they still do that, but she got to get sit down. She can't participate in anything church going on, but the person who got her pregnant, he's still playing the drums. That we gonna blame everything on the woman. The man, you find to still do whatever you wanna do, but you, young woman, you sit your tail down since you didn't got pregnant. This it seems like I don't know you like that, but that's how she's making it seem. Cause it's all Latoya did this. Cause it's cause Latoya did this, that, and the third. Now my thing is, if I had a parent. A uncle, a auntie, a cousin, a, somebody that I knew that was close to me that was a evangelista, a evangelist, a pastor, a minister, a bishop, any of those things. I would have had them 
that's my baby. Isn't her mama like an evangelista or something like that? Her mama is up in the church. Her mama be preaching and teaching the word. So how come her mama didn't bless the baby? That should have been your first choice. Now, prophets near and far. They don't want nothing to do with this because it got that bad spirit on it. Mm -mm, something over there ain't right. Now, we can't baptize the baby. Now, let her tell it that the recording had a lot of damaging information on it. But for legal purposes, she couldn't, she, she couldn't, you know, play the whole tape. I was like, if you couldn't play the whole tape because of legal issues, you should have never brought it up in the first place. Because the way she went on is like, this is, was blessed to me. You know, it was thrown into my lap. You would have thought the dog owner, the prophet was on there like, yes, me and Latoya, we spent several weekends in Hawaii. Just the two of us in a room by ourselves. Clothes were off. You draw a picture of what was going on. We had a wonderful time. We was throwing back the handy. We was doing everything. We was wild out here. If you had a tape of him. And I'm I'm gonna even go further. An actual videotape of him. Well, y'all, you know, you could doctor stuff like that. If he had doggone it on Facetime, popped up and said that, that'd be one thing. He's just like, she's a really lovely young lady. See, I told y'all, but now is I couldn't tell everything because, you know, it would have been you know legal issues. Now she talking about some. The prophet wasn't being truthful when he was on the tape. Yeah, I know there's some false prophets out there. And I'm like, and you want this man to bless your baby? I'm with Latoya on this. Is it, if this man, now, he, now all of a sudden he, he a false prophet. But you want him to bless your baby. You should be thanking Latoya because, because of her actions in a roundabout way. She revealed that Prophet Lot was a false prophet. That he shouldn't have been handling your baby's blessing in the first place. See, you should be thanking Latoya because of that. Y'all, I was hoping that my fro was going to fro. It's froing a little bit. It's been, I had it in a twist down for like two days. I'm trying to do better, y'all. But I was like, how is this, how was this part three going to go about? Because... Truthfully, if Bolo Gate had never happened, we wouldn't have needed a part three. But I'm pretty sure they would have tried to squeeze something in there for us to talk about. At one point, they was like, this is the Portia, the whole reason we having the dungeon thing. Portia thought they were talking about because of Bolo Gate. So she got up walking around talking about some, yes, it's because of me. I want to find a tube to put on my finger so I can show y'all what her nails are looking like. Okay. Imagine this is silver, all the way silver, and it's all on my fingers. She was doing a lot of this, and it was, I was like, yes. So she was walking around, like, giving her Miss USA on, like, yes, this is all because of me. All because of me. All because of me. And all that other stuff. But it's like, no, it's the dungeon thing because you said the candy had a dungeon out here. That's what that was. At one point, I think either Kenya or Mala or both was trying to shame her, body shame her, and like Marlo was talking about her teeth. Portia was talking about Marlo being arrested. But here's my thing. Marlo, you so focused about who, you know, whether Portia slept with Bolo or not, which I don't really, I, I don't understand why y'all some concerned with what was going on in that woman's bedroom at the time. But anyways, Marlo, how was you making your money? Just a question. So, y'all, that was the gist. If I left you think out, by all means, leave a comment below. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Feel free to subscribe. It's free. All day, every day for 99 Make sure your notifications are on. Swim my beautiful face. Put some a video. You can click on it. You can like it. You can share it with your people. And you can come over and be one of my peoples. If you're already one of my peoples, oh, welcome back. Y'all know what to do. Tell your people to tell their people to come over and be one of my peoples by clicking that icon above. This is Lady T signing off. Have a good one.